The guy's big deal. Big deal. For the first time in history, researchers have successfully extracted, sequenced, and analyzed RNA from a 130-year-old thylacine specimen. This is the first time that RNA has ever been recovered from any extinct species of any kind. So, Oh, this, dude, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, this is a Holy big, crap. big deal. And obviously leaps and bounds for picture. the field of the extinction. Um, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, leaps and <laughs> bounds for the field of the extinction, which is really exciting. The extracted RNA was obtained from the skin and skeletal muscle tissues of the desiccated thylacine specimen, as you're seeing here. The RNA sequence what uh, the RNA sequences were found to code for proteins, providing insight into the thylacine cells. Most importantly, it provides insight into the biology and the metabolism right before the animal died. So what this does is it tells those working in the field of the extinction, here's how the animal functions basically, right? From a cellular mm. level and allows that de-extinction process to, you know, it just, it, it accelerates it tremendously because we've obviously been able to do DNA, but now we're doing RNA. So this is a big deal. So, which, first of all, it was, this was the, Natural History Museum of, of Stockholm, right? Sweden, Swedish people, they, they just they just get it right. Like, I, I trust anything out of Sweden. Happiest place if, on earth, dude. If it comes from a Scandinavian country, I'm just yep. unequivocally like, Yep, you got it. That's you're very they good, do everything whatever right. it is. Yeah, right. Does... No questions. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Part of my understanding, too, is that the RNA is like a messenger that communicates with the DNA, right? that carries instructions basically from the DNA on how proteins need to be synthesized, which is obviously sounds very useful if you're trying to bring an animal back from the dead. Right, if you're building it all and you need that exact yeah. communication. It, it's like the other you half of the instructions, basically. Pretty much. It's yeah, the Wi-Fi. It. It's, it's the, the Wi-Fi. Wi that's a good way to put it. Yeah. That's basically my understanding. I know, yeah, so... You know, for me, it's I'm not a cellular biologist. There's a reason I left that sure. very early in my career. But all I know coming out of this <laughs> is that it it makes leaps and bounds in, you know, gene edging technologies and tools that can benefit uh, all kinds of things when it comes to the extinction of this animal. So it's a big deal for them to pull this out of the thylacine. So, 